right guys, we're out of the house together. This is a rare occasion. Um, Barrio's mom and sister are here to, in there at the house watching crew. I'm sad. But he is asleep, so hopefully, I don't know. I'm just all messed up. We'll make it fast, we'll get back. All right guys, mom life. I got baby in his Bajorn, baby Bajorn holder, which we ah. love. We use this, I use this a lot. I used it in Target the other night and he like fell asleep and I use it around the house a lot and I use it when we go on walks um, just because it's comfortable for me and he likes being close to me too so but I need to make some breakfast. Mario is back at work but he's working from home so it's good but I'm about to have some of these um, pancakes and it's actually 1.30 and I'm just now eating something but whatever. All right, just making some of these because they're really quick. I also had some fruit earlier. So. These are so small. I make like six of them. I know, I know. I'm gonna feed you in one second. One second, baby. Wrong thing. What's the wrong? All right, guys, got a package in the mail. I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. All right, here are the clothes I got from Pretty Little Thing. I got a mixture of different things just to try out. I am trying to basically figure out what my sizes are now that I'm postpartum. Um, apologies for the swing in the background. Kurt is looking right at me. <laughs> right over there. And I also have Paw Patrol on. But, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what my you know, size is postpartum because I have no idea. I'm kind of almost back to my pre-pregnancy weight. It's just my stomach that's, you know, still flabby and, you know, I'm nine weeks out so it's not completely tightened back up or anything. So I just want to see what I could fit. And I just wanted some comfy clothes um, to add. I was noticing that I really have a lot of crop tops and I can't be about that crop top life right now. Like it's not working out. So I needed to get some actual shirts that covered my stomach. Um, so that's a few things that I got in here. Um, I got some more joggers. I got a pair of jeans to try them out because I've never tried jeans from Pretty Little Thing before. So I got that, but I'll show you guys what I got. I'm gonna do a try on haul um, just so you guys can see how stuff fits. If it didn't make the video, it didn't look good on me. So I'm not gonna put myself out there like that. All right guys, so this is the first thing that I got. It's a sweater dress. I think it looks so cute. Um, it just has like little, it's kind of like knocking off the Essentials brand, but it just says like sweater and well, what is it? Like the Essentials or the, um, I can't even think of the name right now. You guys know the brand I'm talking about, you know the brand I'm talking about. But it's this chocolate brown. I got a lot of things in chocolate brown this haul because I'm obsessed with that color right now. Um, but it just says sweater, pretty little thing. Um, on the side it just says sweater, pretty little thing, seasonal. This came as a tracksuit, very random. And I don't know if the back is anything, I don't think it does. But it's super cute, it comes really low, which I like. So it's not, you know, I don't feel like my butt's gonna come out. I really like this, it's super cozy. I could wear it with like some biker shorts or just leggings if I want to while it's still cold out. But definitely in the spring, like once it got, starts getting a little bit warmer, I can wear it without anything. Just some sneakers, it's super cute. Love this. All right, next few things I got. I got these joggers, which are super cute. They are army green. They um, were a little bit hard to get on because this waist does not give at all, so I had to just pull them over my butt. But once you get them on, they fit really nice. They're high-waisted, and it just says pretty little thing right here. This does come as a um, sweatsuit, so there is a matching top, but I didn't get the top. I just wanted those sweatpants. They come like really nice and cinched at the bottom. And I really like these. Um, I could definitely wear these with a lot of different tops. Um, and I did get this top. Um, it kind of is like ruched on the sides. I got it in this cream color. I really like this top a lot. Super nice. It's not cropped. It's v-neck. Comfy. I'll definitely be wearing these a lot with different things. Um, super cute. I got was this gray v-neck shirt. I got this also in black. 
Um, I just tucked it into those joggers I just had on, but super easy, basic. I think it'll be really nice just to wear with um, some of the jeans I got before. Um, well, recently my boobs are full of milk, <laughs> but I think these are really cute. They're not cropped, so they come at a good length, but you can still like put them into um, some high-waisted pants, which I like. Um, so that gray shirt, I also got it in black. This is what it looks like. It's just a V-neck, nice little basic. I cropped it, or I tucked it into these jeans that I got, which are the pretty little, pretty little thing mom jeans. I got them in a size eight. I do remember that size. And I like them for the most part. They're very um, comfortable. Like they actually fit my mom belly really nice. And I wanted to get definitely some mom jeans. You'll see with the H&M jeans that I picked up, they're also like mom type jeans. So I really wanted to get um, some of those types, especially cause now I'm a mom and I think that that's so cool. Um, so I wanted just some nice, easy, like comfortable jeans and I got them in the gray color. I think they look really cute. They're like nice and loose and the length is really good on them as well. This is what they look like. They're giving me like poetic justice vibes. Um, yeah, I really like these. Um, nice back pockets. There's pockets in the front. They are a true jean. It's not like a jegging. Um, I really like these a lot. I think I can wear them dressed down, dressed up, different tops. Super cute. So they're a win. I'm glad I got the size 8 because they fit on my stomach really nice. And there's no like, there's even some room there and it's not like constricting. So. I like these, they're cute. All right guys, so the next thing I got was this long sleeve shirt from Pretty Little Thing. Super cute, just an easy basic to throw on on like a quick day, really like it. It's also in that chocolate brown color and it just says um, New York on it. So I thought that was an easy thing that I could incorporate in my collection. And then these jeans are actually from H&M. They are the mom jeans, high rise mom jean. And I got a size 8 in these, and they fit really, really good. I love the length of the jeans. I think they look really nice. Something that I can use on an everyday basis, throw on a shirt, tuck it in. I love that they're high-waisted, and there are actually buttons that go all the way down. So instead of like a zipper, which I thought was different. But I think that this is so cute. Just a quick little outfit to throw on, go to Target, you know, do my little shopping. Yeah, I really like these jeans a lot. I can wear them with so many different things. And I just cuffed the bottom, but you don't have to have it cuffed. But I just cuffed it at the bottom. Um, I love how the, the, the length looks. Um, but yeah, those are one pair of jeans from H&M and I really like this basic top from Pretty Little Thing. Last thing I got on this haul was this short sleeve chocolate brown colored shirt from Pretty Little Thing. Uh, this has Montana on it, very random. But I thought this was a simple basic that I could throw into my collection and pair with like leggings or mom jeans. So I think it looks really good, just an easy shirt to throw on. And then these are the last pair of pants I got from H&M. They're super cute, they're a beige color and they're called the Loose Mom, Loose Fit Mom Jean. And I got them in a size six, so, um, I could size down in these. Uh, they are high waisted and they actually have like a really nice elastic waist, which I thought was super nice. It's very comfortable. It's not really tight on me. And I love how high waisted it is. So it covers all this. <laughs> and um, the length on these is really nice as well. I just cut the bottom. Um, really love the length on these. And I think they're really easy to pair with like a cropped top or just an oversized shirt. So I love the color as well. I don't have anything this color pant in my collection, so I'm glad I got them. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm glad I got some new basics in my collection. I really need some new clothes. Um, so I'm glad that I did that and I just bought some stuff for myself. Um, everything fits, so nothing looks terrible or is too tight, so I love that. I hate when I order things and it just doesn't look good or it's too tight and I can't wear it. So I hate returning packages. It's like one of the most, one of my pet peeves is returning packages, I hate it. So everything fits really well. I'm really happy with all of my purchases. 
Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys liked and I'll definitely leave the links below with every um, size that I've worn in. So you can kind of like base your body type off of mine if you can see that. <laughs> but um, yeah. All right, Crew is awake from his little 30 minute nap in the swing. So he ate last at like 9.30 and it's about to be 11.30. So it's about time for him to eat. He's gonna just breastfeed for this round. Um, I gave him a bottle for his first, like at 9.30, because he didn't get a bottle at all last night because I just breastfed him through the entire night. So I pumped and just gave him that in a bottle because I had already pumped and then he woke up. So I just figured I'll just give him whatever I just pumped since I just emptied myself and now I'm back and should be refilled back up for this next feed. So here he is. He's holding his head up all the time now. So yeah, hold my head up. I hold my head up because I'm a big boy. And he is going to be 10 weeks on Thursday. It is Tuesday, March 16th today if I didn't mention it, but he's a big boy. That's mama's big boy. Okay, you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? <laughs> okay. Okay guys, just a quick little food thing. We picked these up from Whole Foods this weekend because I saw them on TikTok. But they're the Levain Bakery cookies. They sell these at Whole Foods. They're $10 a box, kind of pricey, but they're really good. Um, there's the two chip chocolate chip, which is like one of the famous ones. And then chocolate chip walnut is the one I picked out. They also have oatmeal raisin, which I was tempted to get as well. But um, you just put them in the oven for five to seven minutes and they're all nice and gooey and ready to go. And I think the box comes with eight cookies, so. They're pretty thick. I have two that I'm about to put in the oven. They look like this, and I'm about to pop them in when the oven preheats, but really good, easy little. Um, I should be getting a nice package today, which I will be showing you guys on this vlog. I'm gonna unbox it. Super excited. Um, something for me. So yeah, we're excited about it. We're, we're very excited about it. I'm waiting for it, and you guys will see what it is when it comes here. And, crew was 10 weeks he turned 10 weeks old yesterday so we are and he also slept last night like a really long stretch he slept from 10 to 6 a.m which is new because he has never slept that long without waking up and having to feed again um he usually wakes up around like 4 or 3 to 4 a.m to have um his bottle with vario but last night that did not happen so he just slept all the way through to six. I did have to put the passy in his mouth a few times just to get him to soothe and calm down um, without waking him up, but um, waking himself up, but that helped. And then he would just drift back on to sleep and he slept till six o'clock, which is really good. So I got to have some really nice sleep. I actually ended up waking up like at 5 a.m. thinking he was about to wake up. And I just got up and just was up, like just looking at him really I was and making sure he's breathing, you know, SIDS is so scary and I'm just like, it's like one of my worst fears. So I'm always like making sure he's breathing and I touch his stomach, make sure it's going up and down. I'll even put my finger under his nose to make sure I'm feeling like air being com coming out. So I'm like a little crazy right now, but yeah. But I'm happy that he was able to get some nice sleep last night. Helps us and uh, Vario was actually able to sleep all the way through uh, last night, so it was nice. Um, I'm thinking about lunch. I'm watching some YouTube videos right now. Um, but yeah, chill Friday. It started off really gloomy and now the sun's out, so that's good. But it's still freezing outside. I want it to be nice in like nice weather so that I can take him on walks because it's like, it's just like freezing and the wind is like a tundra outside. So it's just too much to go out there right now. Roll over! <gasps> You almost did it. Hey Google, stop. He's like this close to rolling over by himself. He gets, he just gets so upset when he wants to do it. I think he gets frustrated. You can do it, Bob. You can do it. Was frustrating for my boys. <gasps> Look at Crow. 
Look at Crew. There's baby Crew. Say hey, Crew. Say hey. Say hey, baby Crew. Hey, Crew. Hey, what's the boy doing? What's my boy doing? Where's my chick? Metro. There's Metro. We're just upstairs in this room doing some floor time stuff. I try to come up here multiple times a day and just do floor time with him, tummy time, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, that's what we've been doing. Um, one thing that I figured out that I want to do is a gallery wall downstairs, off topic, but downstairs behind our couch, that like open space on that wall, I want to do a gallery wall of frames and pictures. So it's a good way. We've been wanting to put frames, like framed pictures, because we've gotten these nice, beautiful photos from multiple photographers and we haven't done anything with the photos. Like we've got our wedding photos, we've got our maternity photos. And we've got our newborn photos that are just sitting on our computers and not, you know, printed out. So we definitely want to print out some nice photos and do a gallery wall type thing. I think that'll give us more availability to post more photos and use them on the wall and actually have them like in a nice, like, look on the wall. So I'm super excited. I want to do that. I'm going to get the frames from Ikea. I don't know if we're going to go to ac actually go to Ikea or I'm going to have Barrio go. I don't know yet, but... Definitely want to do that. That's like one project I really want to do before I go. I need to, um, you know, work, get back to teleworking. I want to finish that project off. Um, but yeah, I'm also thinking about in the guest bedroom. Um, I've been going back and forth on if I want to do a day bed in there instead of having like a full bedroom set up in there. Because honestly, we just don't get that much use out of having like a full queen size bed with like nightstands and everything in there. It's great for when guests come and like are able to stay, but... It just we don't we don't use it that much like we don't have that many overnight guests especially with this pandemic we just definitely haven't been and we've been in a pandemic since we moved into this house that's partly the reason but if we do have guests it's usually like my mother-in-law staying or like my parents had just stayed together like two weeks ago so it's just like whenever someone does stay it's like one person in the bed so we don't even need like a queen bed per se um so i'm thinking about like a day bed that like looks like a couch during the day and then can like fold out as a bed if we need it um because it'll open up some space in that room because now we're using that room as our office as well um if you guys don't know we have a three bedroom townhome i would love if this place had four bedrooms that would solve everything because i just want a dedicated like office space um especially because i'm teleworking full time when i get back to work and um yeah so we need to have that because the office was Cruz Nursery before he came and we quickly revamped that because I wanted my baby to have a nursery of course. And um, yeah, now we kind of have like a desk nook situation in the guest bedroom. I don't know if I've even shown that, but I'll just be sure to show that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I don't know. And right now we would definitely use it as an office more so than a guest room. So just some thoughts as I'm chilling with my son. I'm a cute baby. Got some braids, baby. <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys. The unboxing that I was telling you guys about has arrived. It just came late. So, but I wanted to do this today. So, it came in this box. And it's a little gift for myself. You guys know what it is? If you know, you know. In this bag, and we're gonna open it up. Came in this duster, super fancy, chic, you know. Let's open it up. And I got myself a Telfar bag. I got mine in the cream color 
They released, um, re-released on Tuesday this week, so I went ahead and got one. I thought that I could use this and double it as a diaper bag as well because I can't really wear the fanny pack anymore. Only when I'm going out by myself, I can wear a fanny pack, but if I'm going out with the family, I gotta have something bigger. I do love my Carter's backpack, but I was just thinking like, if I don't wanna wear the backpack, I could wear this bag, just throw some diapers in there, my wallet, everything that I need. So it came like this. This is a black owned company, which I'm super happy to support. And it's also a vegan leather. So it's not, you know, it's good for the environment. But I got the medium size, the medium shopper bag. And it has these long straps, which I loved because I can put it around my body like this. Cute. And then it also has the little straps that you can just hold it on your wrist or just hold it with your hands. Um, let's see. So inside, there is a zipper pocket pretty big too which is nice put some little concealed things in there and it's very deep and then there is a button to clasp it closed which is super nice so it doesn't just like stay open all the time and I'm very excited about this I wonder like once I get the shape out and everything how to look but super excited about this can't wait to style it my little Marshall's trips <laughs> and just wear it you know on the go love the color i love the neutral cream color um so yeah really like the size of it as well got my tail easy yeah i'm recording yeah i'm i'm not in uh she didn't catch me in the best space to record right now I'm like fresh off my first week back to work, so I only had to go in the office two days a week, but I'm still super tired and then gearing up for a drop, so yeah. But I, when I get some more energy, I do want to come back and talk to y'all about just transitioning into fatherhood and like setting boundaries with friends and family and like, it's a lot of stuff like that that I don't feel like men talk about and that shit can be tough for real, so I'm definitely going to come back and do that. I'm gonna get some food and get some rest first and then and then we'll talk. Hey guys, so I came out because remember I wanted to do the gallery wall, so I came out to IKEA and got the frames and I got those. I got the last six that were in the freaking store, so I'm so happy I got that. And now I'm about to see what's in this home goods TJ Mac or T Marshalls. That's right outside the IKEA. Is there a line? Just no. Alright guys, I just got my prints printed. So we're good on that. I also got the frames and we're good to go. Yep. yep. The pictures look so good. Where are you at? It's my mom. Alright. So excited, it looks so good. Just got home. I'll show you guys what I got. Um I got a big package which is my Nespresso. So excited to take this out of the box. I also picked up this tall vase filler that I need a vase for. So I got that from Home Goods. It was $20, but just some nice vase filler. You can, uh, of course, cut those down. I didn't find a vase, but I need to find that. And then I also got all the frames, um, I'm starting out with six for the gallery wall, and I got the photos printed at CBS. Just got did that. So I got the Reba frames from IKEA. I got six of them, and I think we're gonna do them long way like this on the wall. And this is the wall that we are going to be doing the gallery wall on so i'm super excited i cannot wait to do it the photos look really good got them all printed here's one so cute can't wait to put them up so yeah let me go check my son see how he's doing been home been gone for four hours so
right, so before I did anything, I had to pump because I was gone and look at all the smoke I just got out. I got five ounces over here and three ounces in my left. Crazy. So this is just being gone for four hours. What my milk production I make just because I wasn't able to breastfeed my baby and I got all this milk. Amazing, really. It's really amazing. So I'm gonna put this stored away and then I'm gonna get started on my frames, which I'm super excited about. I'm also gonna set up my Nespresso. Um, crew is taking a nap, so this is perfect time for me to be able to do all these little things I wanna do. So let's do it. All right, so I'm just going to split these into two four ounces. I pumped like eight and a half ounces just now, which is crazy. I never really see how much I pump like on a full um, like feed, how much my boobs hold, but this really shows me that I hold like up to eight to 10 ounces, which is crazy. So I'm just gonna store them in four ounce, like split it up in four ounces and 4.5 ounces. Ooh. Crazy good. It's crazy. Alright. So there's my bags. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. My Nespresso unboxing. Alright, here is my Nespresso machine. I got the Nespresso Vichero Plus. I just saw so many better reviews for the Plus versus the Next. Um, so I went ahead and got this one. I got it on a really good sale with Bloomingdale's. Um, it was regularly $480 and I got it for a $160. So I thought that was a really good deal. It comes with a frother. I got it in the black color. And it's the one by DeLonghi, not the Breville one. Um, I'm so excited to set this baby up. And this is my Nespresso. All right, I'm gonna start putting the pictures in the frames. I already started with one, and here's one of the pictures, and I will show you guys what they look like when I'm all done. I'm so excited to do this. Here we go. All right, guys, so here's all of the prints all put into their frames. They look really good, and they are gonna go above here in this white space, but I love the frames. I love how the pictures look. That one might be my favorite little crew. <laughs> um, I love our family portrait. So we also got some wedding ones that I printed out. Super nice. Right, so, so this is how I have the pictures like sequenced right now. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to put them on the wall. I think I have good like black and white, black and white portraits, color mixture so i think they look good like that just got this new quesadilla they have oh i've been waiting for chipotle to have some quesadillas it smells good a little tray all right guys i'm obsessed with this wall it just looks so good okay you want to see what it looks like you want to see what it looks like It looks so good. So this is our little family gallery wall. Of course, in the future, we can add like another layer up at the top, but I just want to start with six so it's not overbearing. And I think it looks so good. You can come up and actually see all the pictures and you don't have to put your head up too high to see them. I just think it looks so nice. And then this little table I got from overstock.com. Um, I might switch out those yellow flowers. Faria just said it should be something a little bit more springy. So I might put the filler that's over there in the corner in that vase. I was just waiting for a vase to put it in, but it looks so good. Thank you, honey, for helping me. Mm -hmm. It looks so good. I love it. Love it. So the pictures that we picked, this one is from our wedding. This is our little baby crew, one of his newborn pictures. This is one of our family photos for his newborn photo shoot. This is us jumping the broom at our wedding. This is one of our maternity photos. And this is crew newborn 12 days old at his newborn photo shoot. 
Looks so good, I love it. Now I'm opening up my Nespresso. This is just an exciting day today. I've just gotten so many packages. It's like an exciting weekend. Okay, I'll say that. So I got the Nespresso frother right here. The Aero Chino 3. And here is my Nespresso machine. Arturo Plus. And I love how the back, like the water, you can move it around. And here is the water container. It also, like all Nespresso's do, they come with um, a sample pack of pods, which is so exciting. And this is for the bottom. Well, look. This is for the, my uh, thing to sit on, my cups. So let me set this up and I'll show you guys my little setup where I have it. I'm waiting on the stand that I have my pods in, my pod storage. That comes in tomorrow, so I'll show you guys what that looks like when I get that in. Right, guys, so here is my little Rituro Plus station. I love it. I love how the water tank can move, like so you can have it behind it or you can have it right here um, on the side. So I really love that. And my frother is right here. And yeah, should we turn like that? So looks really cool. I have the box of Nespresso capsules that came with it. So let's see what's in here. Coffees that they have to offer. And inside of here are pods that I got. So you get 12 pods and by the color you can like see what it is. So I'm super excited. You can also see the name of what they are when you pick it up. The super excited about this i do get my storage for my nespresso's my nespresso pods it's coming tomorrow and it's gonna look really nice in this little space so super cute i don't like all these cords showing so i'm gonna have to figure out what i'm gonna do about that um so yeah but that's my little nespresso machine station i like it being here because up top are where all my mugs are gonna be and i got some new mugs i got some clear ones coming so I just like it being like where all of my glasses and stuff are. It just makes the most sense to have it here and by the refrigerator where like the milk and the creamers are. So I definitely want it here. I just don't like this. Ugh. But it looks really good, nice and sleek. I love the black color. Good it's morning like guys, I just woke up. It's my face looking crazy, but I'm about to use my espresso machine for the first time so let's see how this goes i'll show you guys what the end result looks like the creamer that i'm going to be using is my almond milk creamer in vanilla and i gotta figure out what pod i want to use i'll let you guys know when i figure that out i might also put a little bit of almond milk to froth with a little mix of the other thing too my almond milk i like to use is silk almond milk vanilla Let's see how this goes. I see it takes, I heard it takes a few tries to figure out exactly what you like, but let's figure it out. All right, um, I just got some packages. So, from Amazon. And maybe for my espresso making, but random thing I got was this little hat for a crew. For when we go out on walks. Little sun hat, super cute. It's like this little bucket hat for his little head. So I got that. All right, here is the little setup. I got this, all the pods that I got for free in here and the Nespresso's right on top. Super cute. And then I got these mugs, nice clear mugs to go with the Look, super excited to try this out. All right, we're brewing, we're brewing. I did the uh, Bianca Leggero, which is only a 2.7 ounce. And then I guess I'll just top it with the cream and milk mixture I did. We'll see. All right, so now I have my froth and this is my little, what is this? Barista creation, Bianca Leggero. And then I'm gonna pour this milk mixture on top. Ooh, pretty, pretty. 
looks so good. Oh my gosh, okay, let's make Barrio, see how that one goes. All right, so I'm feeding crew, but this is really good. I tried the Bianca Leggero, and I heard that people really love that one, and I see why they love it so much. And Barrio, did you like yours? Yeah, it was really good. You don't I wanna show it. yourself? I loved it, it was, uh, it was really good. You had like a regular coffee blend, I forget the name. Mazzolo, Mazzolo? I don't know, she made it. She gotta teach me how to use a machine, so. It was good though. It is good, you're still drinking it. Are you gonna drink it? You know I never finish coffee. So. Oh lord, these pods are too expensive for that crap. Yeah. I have to keep the instant coffee. Peace. But this is really good, almost done. And it really looks like, I love the foam, like the foamer, is the frother is really good. Mm-hmm. Like, super nice. Lady. We're out on the back porch. Crew's got his little sun hat on. It's a little big, but he'll grow into it. It's a really nice day today. Let's go for a walk. Our little tree is blooming. Look at this. So pretty. Spring is coming, guys.